Hi. Today I will show you how to configure AAA authentication on Cisco routers. In this activity we have three main part. As you see in background, scenario section, we will configure local AAA on router 1, configure server based authentication using the TACAX server on router 2, and radius server on router 3. First, I will test the connectivity between three PC. They are able to ping each other. And then, configure the local user for authentication. Next, we will enable AAA using AAA new model command, and configure AAA authentication for the console login to use the local database. And now, we configure the line console to use the defined authentication method. We'll verify the configuration by exit and login the router using the local user we are defined before. It should be success. It's work. We are configured authentication for the line console. Now we will do for the line VTY. First, we will configure domain name and generate RSA key for use with SSH. And then, we configure a named list AAA authentication method for the VTY lines. Next, we'll configure the VTY lines to use the defined AAA authentication method named SSH login. Finally, we'll verify the SSH connection to router 1, from the command prompt of PCA, using the local account admin 1. Nice. 
We are successful configure authentication using local database. Now we'll try to use the other method, server base authentication. Before start to configure authentication using server, we must configure a local user for backup. If the connection to server is disconnected, the router will use local user to authentication. This is a TACAX server, where we store all user to authentication. So if we have many users, we don't need to configure all of these users on each router. Now, we'll define the TACAX server's IP, and the key, to establish connection between server and routers. Next, we'll configure AAA login authentication, for console access, on router 2. It's same as router 1, but we don't use local database, we use group TACAX to authentication. The local database just for backup. And then, configure the Lion console to use the defined authentication method. Finally, we'll verify the authentication. And it's work correctly. Now we'll try another method using server base authentication. It is radius server. We'll do the same as router 2, configure local user for backup. The difference to TACAX server is, the RADIUS server used plain text to send information, meanwhile the TACAX server is more secure by encrypt the informations. We'll configure server's IP and key, same as sample configuration. Next, we configure AAA login authentication for console access to router 3, and configure the Lion console to use the radius authentication method. Just configure it same as we do with router 2. Finally, we verify the authentication. It should be success.
That's it. We are done and got 100%. Good luck and thank you for watching.